Hello, RC Rockin' here, and let's make this go back to usual here after the Wargaming August extravaganza. Someone's very happy. That would be my dog. Anyway, um, but he's not happy about that. He just, he got outside. Anyway, now I'm gonna try and go ahead and bring you guys a few games and with any luck inside the 5120. He is just really motorboating, isn't he? My dogs are like running around in circles for no reason. Anyway. Now with V5120. I seem to have this curse of not being able to get good video footage. So I'm gonna go just record a few games and see how they go. And if they go well, then I'll include them in the video. If not, I won't include them. Maybe I'll try to get a replay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into a battle and show you how this thing. Hello, and we're back. All right. Now, I don't know if I said this in the hangar or not. If I did, um, anyways, as I'm saying, the 5120 and I have a bad rep of getting bad games on camera. So, I went ahead and tried playing off camera. This was the game that right after I turned off the camera and I got a really good game. And right off the bat, someone goes in the chat, uh, something about clickers. He's talking about the artillery. Is a nickname for art clickers. Is a nickname for artillery in World of Tanks. Uh, people call them clickers because some people don't even move their tanks. But as you see in our mini map, our artillery are by no doubtably skilled artillery players. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. Someone's doing a Spanish clan recruit too. Now I noticed that no one, all of our heavies are heading down the south when they're all heavily armored tanks. So I decided to go over to the uh, southwest, no, southeast, yeah. Go over to the southeast and, uh, well, basically medium tanks. Because you know, this tank's a medium tank. It's no heavy, don't be fooled. It's a medium tank. It's a very um, patent-like tank. And I don't know what's happening here. Watch these shots. Where I don't know where they're going. You look at the shots and you look at where they're going. They're just that's kind of the thing of 5100s or the 50 series. You can't really hit. <laughs> You're not going to hit. Here, let's shrink that down a bit. That's much better. It's too big. I go around this corner, going down the railway here. Just sneak up on this bat chat, hopefully, while I'm reloading. Now, if you want to know how to piss off a French tank, there's certainly a good ways of doing it. So, just type 61, try to sneak up on him. Nope. Now, a good way to piss off a French tank is if you, the light tank is to come up right behind them. This guy right here. What he's about to do? Yep. He is the most annoying player the entire game. I just... Urgh, I immediately acted. I hate... A good way to piss off French tanks is to be him. <laughs> because... It's quite obnoxious and it's very weird how you're in a tier 9 heavy tank and a scout tank can penetrate your armor. That's kind of the theme of the French line, but anyway, it's still kind of annoying. Like, you get a hundred millimeters of armor, but look at the sloping on it. You can't really do anything with it. So he's able to pin anyway. It's just, urgh. It's tier 8 standard armor, so it's kind of obnoxious, if you will.
So I save the Indian Panzer and see the object 704. Unload one shot, miss. Unload another shot into him. Aim for his side. One more shot, shot goes high. So I go ahead, single I'm reloading. And it's very important in this tank to be really communicative with your team and to be working with your team because alone you will not survive in any French tank. You must have someone around you to support you while you reload. Now what French tanks are about are their burst fire or the auto loader. And I have been waiting a very long time, very patiently, to get a good game in this tank. And you don't need a top gun on every tank to do good, as an example of this game. So me and the Centurion decided to go after the uh, scout tank. And I really wanted to kill that scout tank. He was really pissing me off. But already kills him. Um, get clicked. <laughs> So, me and Centurion turn around and decide to start pushing the flank. Now, we haven't seen anyone else other than that 704 here. Now, this is how you really do it. Centurion takes the right, I take the left. He leans in my direction. He gets shot at by the... I believe it's the AMX AC-48. He becomes very helpful as a uh, distraction, if you will. And this is one of the things of the auto loaders. Look what I am doing. Because I am an auto loader, I can afford to shoot through his cover. I do not know how that bounced. I think his tracks ate the shot there. And I have three shells automatically loading in a two second interval, so, you know, cover doesn't really affect me. Now I see that I've only destroyed half of this building, or two-thirds of the building, one part in the middle standing. So I decide to move forward and all right, put that at full speed. Now I just took a shot from that T-28 and if I was paying more attention to my main map I probably would have saw him. But I didn't and I stay on this amount of health for the entire game. No close calls, very Kind of, you gotta play very carefully in this tank. You cannot be hit. You have to check all of your flanks, make sure that there's no way the enemy can hit you. Because if there's a way, they will find it. Oh, let me put this up to normal. That's this is times one. So I'm just sitting here, holding my tank barrel still. I very rarely do that actually. And I typed in the chat. Basically, um, yeah. So I'm unloading the frontal plate of his T-20. I'm very surprised I'm not penetrating his armor. I point his gun at me. I see that he fires at the AMX AC. Take advantage and don't know where that shell went. Bounce to the top. And I have enough health to, or have enough alpha damage to knock him out. So I decide to take back, sit back, reload. Now one of the things you don't want to do in this tank is you don't want to turn it into like a one sh you don't want to trade shots of this tank. You want to unload all that burst damage, get back down in cover, let your teammates support you. And oh god, oh god. Now this was very nerve wracking, but I kind of had the feeling that maybe he would hit, maybe he wouldn't. And he straights over, so I decided to bounce artillery. <laughs> hit him in a road wheel, which blew his tracks off still, since I have the dead eye perk. And I finish him off with half a magazine left. So, decide to go over and provide support. But you know, I'm playing very um, supportedly here since I do not have any health left. And I'm on four kills. I haven't had a game like this in 5120 in a very long time. And a lot of people I feel like are surprised by this thing. I held down the mouse button there. And we don't know where the C4 is. He has the amount of kills that I do. And we have the numbers advantage. That is the main thing. And our team knows it. We have good players that are all left on our team. As you see, everyone has gotten a kill here. And I've gotten four. <laughs> I guarantee you I'm the one with the worst win rate out of our team. And still doing pretty well. 
I meant to put, put in pros don't cap, but my keyboard, as usual, messes it up. You should see how long it takes me to write a description on my videos. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here. Just singling my team that I'm reloading. And pay attention to the mini map. Look where this guy's spot. So to run through, believe it or not, he's moving up the rail line because he was not spotted there, but he, where he gets spotted is right there. Now the thing about that, what it is, is it was not a smart move at the time. And the reason why it was not a smart move, let me tell you, was the fact that if he were to go into the cap circle, he would tell all of our team exactly where he is and where to go to kill him. And that's something you don't want to do in a one-on-four situation. And that's part of the reason why he lost this match and died. Now, I'm out of the game here. I'm finishing my reload and I'm zooming my way over, but it's too late for me. So I go ahead. Try to get my way over. Someone comments on me. Thank you for thank you, Crosslol and Vis3 for the compliment. Moving forward, and I uh, try to see if I can get a shot. Nope. WZ120 finishes him off. What is it with the ones in Japanese? Just I want to point this out. In the Chinese tanks, every Chinese tank seems to have a one. There's always a one. So you gotta remember about the Chinese. There's always one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, clicked exit the video, or um, exit the game, and I do not have fraps, so it did not continue beyond the game. Anyways, as I was saying. So, if you did in fact like the video, please do actually like the video. And if you want to see more of my content in the future, please do click the uh, subscribe button which will be in the top right of your screen and if you uh, want to see some of my past content please do go to my channel which will be in the top left of my screen the uh, subscribe button does not work tell me I'm so I am trying to see if it will take you to a different channel it shouldn't be taking you to a different channel but it's taking me to a different channel please tell me in the comment section if it is working uh, anyway so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.